Welcome to the Samurai Channel. We are all students who have been active for the past three years through social networking, street speeches, and signature campaigns. The channel is made up of teenagers and is made up of culturally diverse high school students, including Japanese, half Japanese, half European, and those who have studied abroad. The corruption of politicians in Japan today is glaringly obvious. The adults need to wake up and express their opinions clearly. But even if they realize, more than 70 years of misguided history may prevent decisive action. It is we, the youth, who are in this predicament. That is why we must learn together, speak out and take action, remember who is telling lies, remember why is false history being taught, remember who are the traitors. Remember understand what individuals and nations have done to our country. Let us know if there are any mistakes. We are ordinary high school students, but our leaders have been aware of Japan's shadow since junior high school and have taken action. Mission Let's Protect Japan Let's be proud of Japan. Support us. Arigatou gozaimasu. Top picks chosen by teens this week. One Japan drops to 70th in press freedom ranking. Japan has fallen to 70th place in the press freedom rankings, down from 11th place 20 years ago. Media outlets are accused of increasingly biased reporting as their rankings decline. Some individuals claim that media, allegedly run by Japanese-looking Chinese or Korean residents, are behind this decline, as evidenced by YouTube videos and books. Consequently, unfavorable news concerning China and South Korea is allegedly suppressed, leading to the erosion of Japan's identity. 2. Forced Deportation There are calls for the forced deportation of individuals involved in crimes, particularly in Kawaguchi City, Saitama Prefecture, where incidents of violence and rape involving Kurdish individuals are reportedly high. Despite efforts by journalist Takaki Ishii, media outlets are accused of biased reporting. In Okinawa, actor Satoru Nakamura is reportedly under attack by Okinawa media. Authorities are urged to provide accurate reporting to the Japanese public, and the Ministry of Justice is called upon to address the issue of illegal residents. Three schools teaching foreign languages. Surprisingly, kindergartens in Fukuoka are teaching Korean. Some argue that this is unnecessary and that Japanese and English language education should be prioritized. In addition, 90% of high schools in Miyazaki Prefecture have Chinese students, and the Chinese national anthem is sung daily. And the schools are subsidized by taxpayers. It is madness. For NHK Public Opinion Survey, Selective maiden name adoption approval is 62%, disapproval is 27%. Again, NHK is biased reporting this is a cultural practice in China and South Korea. Former Prime Minister Abe and his brother Kishi have different last names. Ms. Mizuho Fukushima of the Social Democratic Party also has a different last name from her husband. Why do they want to introduce Chinese and Korean culture to Japan? With separate maiden names, it becomes difficult to establish the birthplace on the family register. The family register is Japan's pride. Please stop suppressing the voices of those who prefer to have the same surname as their spouses. Also, I think the opinion poll about the imperial family is a lie. The imperial family is a male lineage. Those who don't understand this genetic issue should refrain from commenting. The fact that NHK is being produced by non-Japanese people is evidence that they are excluded from nationality provisions. This seems to have started with the Koizumi administration. Koizumi is also noted in various places as not being Japanese. Please investigate. 5 Feminists We now understand how scary feminists can be. It was the Communist Party and feminists who thoroughly attacked and supported the mayor of Kusatsu City with lies. The crime of tarnishing the image of Kusatsu is heavy. The defamation against the mayor is too severe. Men will end up not trusting women's claims of sexual victimization. 6. Cost of removing the Korean Memorial Monument Thank you for providing the materials. Dunma Prefecture built a citizens group opposed to the removal 20,620,000 yen for the cost of removing the memorial monument. It seemed natural to me, but that citizens group has since disbanded. There are people on Twitter who are outraged, saying this is typical Korean behavior. Koreans residing in Japan who love Japan are troubled by this. 
If these are truly memorial monuments, then they should be built nationwide. What do you think about this? Seven words of Fujiko Heming. Pianist Fujiko Heming has died. She became famous for her efforts after the age of 60. No matter how cultured and respectable a person is, he or she has no charm if he or she has no scars on the heart. For they cannot understand the pain of others. This is something many politicians need to hear. 8 NHK subscription surcharges. NHK internet subscription fees passed by the House of Representatives. NHK's internet subscription fee may be increased by around 1,100 yen per month if you are using a provider or SIM. It appears that the House of Representatives has passed the bill. Do they want to make it mandatory, rather than only those who want to watch NHK paying it? NHK has a large number of foreign nationals, biased reporting is widespread and there is a lot of fabricated reporting. We don't need a public service broadcaster that can be watched for free in China, NHK cannot be trusted either in its management policies or in the content of its broadcasts. This is also a negative legacy left by GHQ. The crime of destroying Japan's history, culture, economy and society is too heavy. 9. Let's support Sairagen and Benya Koji. The recent recall and suspension of sales of Sairagen due to insufficient ingredients discovered 30 years ago were correct. However, both Sairagen and Benya Koji are effective products for detoxifying and shedding prevention for vaccine inoculation. If negative media reports about nado, koji, tofu, rice, or sake emerge, search for DS. There used to be a foolish professor who said eating rice makes you stupid. We have learned that both universities and the media can easily lie. 10. House Search and Arrest A political group, Tsubasa no Tu, was subjected to a house search and arrests for violating the Public Offices Election Act. Lawyer Kakuma commented that he could understand the feelings of Tsubasa no Tu, which angered Akari Ayama. It was reported that someone used a loudspeaker in front of the police station to say, Akari Ayama, 48, are you frustrated? Do you want to kiss me? This is very low-level behavior. However, why hasn't a similar house search been conducted on the anti-Japanese Korean group Shibaki Tai? Who were brought in by members of the Constitutional Democratic Party during LDP member Mio Sugita's election campaign. Sugita's campaign speech was disrupted by more than 80 anti-Japanese Koreans. Sugita has also been falsely implicated in corruption, which is unacceptable. However, she has fought back in French against the comfort women issue and spoken out against the Ainu indigenous peoples issue. We support her. We want an end to unfairness. Additionally, Akari Ayama reportedly has been bedridden due to these attacks. I believe politicians need to have the backbone to risk their lives. Rick and Sakai won the election, but some are angry, saying it's the same as the Biden jump. This week's, could you shut up please? Shame on America, President Biden. President Biden said that the Japanese do not like foreigners. Japan is not a country made up of immigrants. Countries such as the US, Germany, Sweden, the UK, and Canada have failed measurable in their immigration policies. Expanding immigration would cause confusion and increased costs. His statement implying a desire to send immigrants to Japan is discriminatory against the Japanese. Let me reiterate. Japan is not a country built on immigrants. And Japan is already the fourth largest immigrant receiving country in the world. This is thanks to the Abe administration. Prime Minister Kishida, who seems to follow whatever the US says, has been trending under the hashtag Don't Come Back. Someone say Mr. Abe was killed because he finally defies the US. During the eight years Mr. Abe was prime minister, Japan followed the orders of the US and China to pass really bad laws and impoverish the country. Mr. Ishikoki, a member of parliament who tried to pursue the unification church, was also killed. The G7 knows that Mr. Abe endorsed the Unification Church. None of the G7 attended the funeral. Naturally, Sun Yat-sen of the Unification Church says that the Showa Emperor should kneel. And he teaches that Japan is a bad country. But many commentators hide this fact and most others are unaware of it. Check please. 
for Shoka of the Month. This month's Shoka of the Month is Autumn in the Countryside. We received a request from a viewer. Thank you very much. I thought it was an autumn song, but it seems to be a little different. The singer is Ms. Masako Kawada. It is said that Ms. Kawada's voice was so popular that it was said that there was a day when there was no air raid, but there was not a day when I did not hear Masako Kawada's voice. Also, although number 3 was deleted by GHQ, the story is told from no. 1, so please listen to it. a textbook. We have attached the sources, so please consider this as well. This month, we have excerpts from Mr. Masanori Mizuma's The Truth of Pre-War Japan at a Glance 1936-1945. Are you familiar with Setsuko Hara, the unparalleled great actress of the 20th century who blossomed in Japan? This photo shows her at 16 years old. When MacArthur visited the Ofuna Film Studio, Setsuko Hara was among the actresses who had been active in the post-war period and rushed to greet him, but she ignored him. This steadfast attitude represents the unwavering spirit of the Japanese people. Setsuko Hara was from Yokohama, and during the final stages of the war, she vividly remembered how Yokohama was reduced to ruins by the indiscriminate bombing by American forces, and how many of her friends and acquaintances were burned to death. Given these memories, it was impossible for her to feel like welcoming MacArthur. This unshakable Japanese conviction remained firm even if it was MacArthur, the supreme commander of GHQ, who was then a figure of immense influence. MacArthur himself was astonished by the devastation of Yokohama, which had turned into a city of death, as he traveled from Atsuji Airfield to his hotel in Yokohama. 
He remarked to his personal physician, Total war is terrifying. Setsuko Hara expressed the dignified spirit of the Japanese people in Yasujiro Ozu's films, such as Late Autumn, Early Summer, and Tokyo Story. In 1963, she suddenly left the silver screen. Let's take action this week. This week's action is to introduce the post-COVID vaccine side effects patients association on the petition site, Voice. This voice platform is created by Japanese people, and you can express your opinions without using your real name. So far, attempts have been made to recall Governor Omura of Aichi Prefecture for using public funds for a fraudulent art festival that mocked Emperor Showa, to recall the mayor of Takushima for setting Awa dance seats at 200,000 yen, and to recall officials in Yokohama in opposition to IR, Integrated Resort, plans. All these efforts have ended in failure. Currently, there are recall targets such as Governor Kawakatsu of Shizuoka, Governor Denny of Okinawa, and Governor Suzuki of Hokkaido. Governor Hayes of Ishikawa Prefecture is also a target for recall now. However, it is very difficult to achieve a recall because political groups interfere and the hurdles are very high. Therefore, while voice has no legal basis, it is a safe platform to use. Japan is the only country that promotes vaccines, which are still in clinical trials, to such an extent. Do you have people around you who are suffering or who have died? Let's think and act for ourselves. <laughs>